All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, before we start, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahusha, Ba'ashem Kakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders, uh, elders at Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well and will tell us this truth. Peace and salutations be unto you, fellow brothers, you Akim, that are also pushing out this word of truth, sincerity, and in faith. All right. And in today's video, we're essentially just going to be expounding on Romans uh, 9 and 6, you know, building upon that precept. All right. Where uh, essentially it entails. Um, talking about the, the, the children of Israel, all right, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, all right, and essentially it's going to be, uh, you know, bringing out some precepts and those willing to be edifying, all right, because essentially this precept, all right, all right, it's talking about a very select number out of the nation of Israel, all right, so right off the bat, you can just get the, get the precept. Yeah, Romans 9, verse 6, not as though the word of the Most High hath taken an effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Yep. And for edification's sake, um, before the um, before the camera started rolling, I before we started recording out of curiosity, I went into the uh, Spanish translation, okay, in the Blue Letter Bible app, and it, it actually um, entails um, roughly paraphrasing. It says, uh, that they that are the descendants of Israel are not of Israel." All right, which is um, you know better put in a different angle, and that's essentially what it is. They are the the descendants are out of all the twelve tribes. All right, the ones that know that they're, they're, they're that they're Israelites, and that they know that they, that they descend out of the, one of the tribes, are not uh, the Israel of the Lord. You know, or, or in other words, <clears throat> they are, they are the lost sheep that don't hear the, the shepherd's voice. You know, that shepherd being what Hamashik Yahushai, our Lord and Savior. All right, they don't hear his voice. They don't respond to him. They don't recognize it. You know, but, but the Israel of the Lord, aka the election out of the nation of Israel, they do. They do respond and they do recognize it. You know. But the two thirds out of the nation of Israel, the ones that are destined to be destroyed, are not. And so what? They're likely not to heed the heathen. All right. The the uh, the certain nations that don't descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. The um the rest of the the men upon earth. All right. The one that don't have a God to cling on to. You know. Mm -hmm. The 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 um the nations upon earth that don't have a living power like like we do. All right. But, uh, the, a certain selection of our people. Act just like how how, how they are, all right? Yep. Heathens. That's what that, that's, what, that's what they've been liking onto. And we're gonna get another piece of it, in Matthew's. All right, yeah. where even Yahweh Shai said this, you know. Mm -hmm. and you you wanna bring it out? Or you gonna uh, you wanna say something? Uh yeah, you know just, well yeah, I just wanted to say real quick because what it said they that are of Israel are not all of Israel, because there's Israelites who are by blood Israelites, but spiritually speaking, they're likened to heathen. Because they um they they act as such they act very ungodly mm -hmm. you know they reject the Most High you know which really that's not it it's really the Most High rejecting them you know yes yeah, right. yeah you know they like to heathen because uh, uh, <clears throat> when you look at what a heathen is and what uh, uh these nations you know they're they 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 don't have a power like we do man you know yep okay. so get the next one yep come on uh so lucky yeah. yeah. Uh, Matthew's chapter 18 and verse 17. And if ye, Salakia, and if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man mm -hmm. and a publican. Yeah. And, you know, Yahweh Shai said that, all right? And, and, and mainly, this was, uh, in you know, context, this was dealing with, you know, disputing in the church, talking mm -hmm. about brothers. And guess what? Those uh, brothers, or, you know, these individuals, our former brothers, are Israelites. So even then, the Lord said, you know, to um, Yahweh Shai said, what to treat them, you know, as an heathen man, you know, if they if they, the, they if they neglect counsel or you know if they neglect the church, you know, when, and when talking about uh, businesses, uh, business within, within the um, or disputings in the church, and he just said, what you're gonna treat them uh, as a heathen man, all right, and so that in itself already uh, um, implies that what, that essentially what the the that the Israelites that that that, that decide to uh, be rebellious, that decide to neglect the Lord. All right, that decide to be as like on the heathen and take on their customs. Well, you have to avoid him. All right, you have to uh, to shun him. All right, because he's not be he's not following what uh, his father told him to do. Just imagine that being a father and having a son and literally him being um not being obedient. You know, you're, you're gonna um uh, well in this society the you can disown him. All right, scripture. You know, mm -hmm. you so like you. Second Corinthians six and fourteen. Be ye, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? So, yeah. like, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communication hath light with with darkness? Yeah. And the two-thirds of our people are in darkness. 
the the uh, the rebels more most importantly you know that's that's a good label for them as well the rebels of our nation all right they're the ones that are in darkness mm-hmm. and we are the ones that uh, are, are in the light lord will we be at that number especially yeah. you know and what what fellowship do we have with them man they're like they're like heathens you know they like uh, cuz what ultimately the heathen are like you know are like beasts you know and 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 a reb of rebellious israelite is just like a heathen because he doesn't he doesn't abide by the laws of Yahab Hashem Yahshai and, and especially you know right now the law of faith all right having that faith they don't have that so they're in darkness yep. all right and it says here what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communication hath light with darkness yeah because we can't get along with uh, the rebels of our nation all right the rebellious ones the the two thirds of our nation the rebels of our nation yeah yeah if, you know if I'm mad even with doctrine you can't mesh two two different things together you can't mesh two different gods together they they, they just don't mix. You know, yeah. we all have to be of, of, of one accord. Yahweh Shai even said in Matthew's, um, you know, uh, for either he will love one, serve, what was it? Salakia. Yeah. yeah, you can't, uh, yeah, you can't uh, serve two masters. Yeah, yeah, you can't have two, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Salakia, I'm Yeah, this is, um, I got pieces of love. This is <clears throat> Jeremiah 10 and 1. You can get the, um, sorry, get the next one. But once you get that, this is Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, mm-hmm. for the heathen are dismayed at them. All right, but the point is well, what I read earlier, you know, and what and I, and I read verse one for a reason, you know, hear this word of the Lord, ye house of Israel. All right, the Israelites, or you know, the, this message is supposed to be unto you. Don't follow the way of the heathen. All right, just look at it in itself. All right, if, if you if you accept uh, if you do the customs of the heathen, which aren't the the court, not the customs of your power. All right, you what well, you're, you're gonna get dreads, tattoos. Um, dyeing your hair all sorts of wacky colors, getting you know, weird haircuts. Get, yeah, haircuts that are um, that are you know, get li- yeah, getting lineups, marring your beard, and these are just uh, basic uh, 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 customs, For- customs that you ought to keep. Like you know, yeah, like the commandments have oh my, different gods, you know, different ways of life, life that aren't according to what the Lord taught you. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going out, you're going outside the boundaries that your father has given unto you, you being his son. Mm-hmm. If I can say, yeah, I want to say real quick because <laughs> some people might say. Foolish things like, oh, I don't think that the Most High cares about what my hair looks like. If he didn't care about what your hair, if he didn't care about you having tattoos or lineups, well, guess what? Yes, he does because he get he specific. Then why did he tell us to be a specific way? Why did he give us a law on how to on how to even keep our 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 hair and such? You know, mm-hmm. that, about not getting lineups, not putting cuttings in your flesh, not not put you know, mm-hmm. not 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 cutting off your beard. Yeah. If he didn't care, then why was there a law on it? You know? Yeah, there's a reason. Be- there's a reason behind. There it. is a reason. You mm-hmm. know, even the dietary laws alone. You know, it's evident that our people, uh, if, if they were to just to eat anything that's out there, all right, you best believe they're, they're we're we're vulnerable. <laughs> us being Jake, we're vulnerable to the majority of unclean things. Why do you think they're unclean according to the scriptures? All right, all right. Mm-hmm. Um, just look, uh, pork, which America lo- loves to uphold. All right, this this devil. Man, they put that shit in everything. Man. Yeah, man. You know. So it's just things like that that make you wonder, man. These these our people really have been locked onto the heathen, you know. Yeah, the, yeah. You even see video. I remember you saw the uh, the uh, the nigga woman eating the rat on a stick. I didn't like, see that's that. So that uh, is heathenistic, uh, man. That is something a, a, a Moabite you would see doing, but you see our people doing it, man. If I can get the next one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is Hosea the fourth chapter in the sixth verse. Yep. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hmm. Yeah, and that's the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Not just any knowledge, the knowledge of our Lord. And mm-hmm. the, the knowledge of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest unto me, priest to me, Salakia, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the thy thy God, thy power, I will also forget thy children. Yep, yeah, man. So what, and this is a classic precept, why people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, for lack of the, the laws, such as the commandments, the knowledge, the wisdom and understanding of the Lord the that He give unto you. Mm-hmm. You know, a little inkling of the, the Lord's power that He bestowed upon us. You you rejected it when it was in front of your face, when it was given unto you so mm-hmm. uh, so freely, you know. Of course, there came that, what, after the fair share of trials, us going through what we're going through with the, you know, in the desert, in the wilderness, mm-hmm. you know. But what, that, that, that rich history is what, it was for uh, lessons for us. Mm-hmm. But the two-thirds... Who have been likened unto the heathen? They're not going to learn from this lesson. All right. Only the sheep, as I mentioned earlier, the sheep that hear that hears the shepherd's voice, they're going to uh, they're going to uh, take this lesson and be thankful for it. You know, and you know, never repeat it again. All right. Because the two thirds out of the nation of Israel. All right. Although they are descendants. Okay. They're spiritual heathen. A lot of people like to say that uh, you can be a spiritual Israelite, which is false. 
the, <laughs> the Lord called you a spiritual heathen. All right, <laughs> you you your mind has been so corrupted that you've been likened unto the other heathen nations. Mm -hmm. All right, that's yeah, how yeah, that, yeah. that's how low we sunk. And even when you're reading the, the Lamentations of Jeremiah, it said that uh, uh, the, the the nation of Israel, the wicked ones, all right, that they they said that what this is the uh, the perfection of beauty. You know, mm. because the heathen are supposed to look up to us. So how is it that we've sunken low to their level? Yeah, how that, is that's it? Embarrassing. How is it that Israel, we have our own thing going on, which was given us to us, given unto us by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, but meanwhile Jake wants to be like the heathen. You see Northern Kingdom with dreadlocks as if they're Elamites. You see them with tattoos all over their bodies as if they're Hamites. You know, those are those are customs of the heathen. The heathen cut their flesh. You know, that's yeah. heathenistic to even really think about. You know, yeah. get uh the uh, the law of De Deuteronomy. What's well, not the law, but um, which one? Deuteronomy four. It's in the uh, it's in the uh. Oh, you want me to get? Yeah, yeah four yeah, and six. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter four. I'm gonna start at verse six. Sure. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and you want me to start at five. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Deuteronomy four, Deuteronomy four and five. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Even as the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, mm -hmm. which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Yeah, man. So what? We're supposed to be the role models to these uh, to these heathen, man. But guess what? The role models have, have sunk into their level. All right? The... Uh, <laughs> You know the Israelites, the the wicked ones of the nation of Israel, have sunk into to their uh you know heathenistic state. The rebels. All right. Yeah, the the, the rebellious ones. Okay, because what the Lord set up two two ways. All right, there's, there's never a gray area. All right, the Lord give what give you life and He give you death. You know to record us uh in in that day. You know even now. All right. So the thing is, we have two choices. You know to live or die. And guess what? The the, the rebellious ones. All right, and the nation of Israel, the two thirds are gonna be are gonna choose the way of the heathen. All right, they're gonna be likened unto them. All right, spiritually, although they are Israelites by blood, the Lord's gonna disregard them just like this. They disregarded him. All yeah. Right? Oh, so I this, got the scripture. Oh no, go ahead. Can I just get this real quick? This is Proverbs sixteen and twenty five. There is a there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. All right, and that, that's kind of that's the point. All right, these these wicked Israelites, they they look at that that um, it, it seduces them essentially. You know, it woos them. That 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 the um. The way how, how the heathen are doing it, the multitudes, you know, which is what, but it's just nothing but evil. If um, it's against the Lord, you, 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 they, uh, they get wooed of it. They, they, it's sin. <laughs> yeah, it's sin. Our people, they, 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 it's almost like they're enchanted by it. Mm -hmm. All right, and any and any opportunity they have to to dis to um to disobey the Lord, they do it. Mm -hmm. You know, and that that that's basically what make them, that what made them unclean in the Lord's sight. Mm -hmm. I got a precept. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians two and fourteen. But the natural man receiveth not things. Not the things of the spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can they know them because they are spiritually discerned, right? Because ultimately, you know, the natural man, the carnal Israelite, all right, he just doesn't get it. You know, he doesn't understand why about you know why the Lord you know this, why the Lord said not to do this, why he wants to know why so bad, and and doesn't even just go with the fact that you know what we're supposed to obey anyway. So I'm gonna listen. You know, the natural man receiveth not the things. Of the spirit of the Most High, okay, and ultimately that's them having the spirit uh, asleep, the spirit of slumber. All right, because that, that's what it truly is. Because uh, Israelite that that wakes up to him being an Israelite, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments isn't enough. You have to have faith in Yahweh Shai to not be condemned. You know, and guess what? Israelite that does that and doesn't keep the faith in Yahweh Shai doesn't have the faith in Yahweh Shai. Hey man, ultimately the Lord's rejecting him. You know, mm -hmm. if he doesn't have faith in Yahweh Shai, because that's the the uh, the justification. In the sight of the Lord in this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, that's right. Hey, it's not, yeah. that, that's pretty much the point. All right, because well, uh, as for us, you know, <laughs> in this house, <laughs> what we're gonna serve y'all, Bashmi Al Shai, as for what the 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 uh, the Israelites that may descend are from 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 righteous forefathers, they become likened unto the heathen. If all right, they have, they have become outcasts. Mm -hmm. You know, the true outcasts. You know. If I can say it real quick, cause uh, oh no, no. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, I was just going to say, like it says, uh, the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, because one of those things is what? Faith in Yahweh Shai, knowing of Him. Mm -hmm. You know, being able to read about Him in the Scriptures. Yeah. And knowing that He's, that, 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 that Him, all right, uh, being, being the propitiation for Israel, that's, that was part of prophecy. That, you know? Mm -hmm. Him being the Savior is part of prophecy. So, like, yep. 
and them being barren of faith, what that that made them uh, empty. All right. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, what they have no value in the eyes of the Lord, just mm -hmm. like the heathen, mm -hmm. you know, vanity. Yep. All right. And that's why the Lord's going to disregard them, and ultimately they're going to learn that lesson by death. You know, in mm -hmm. the end. But if, as for the elect, hey, they're going to be exalted. That's right. You know, for actually uh, be holding their integrity in the eyes of the Lord, even when the majority of Israel didn't want to. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know that's pretty much it. You know, just edifying, bringing out some uh, extra precepts on uh, Romans nine and six. All right, so with that, you know, we want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Ka'kadash. Double honors again to the apostles and elders of the most on GMS who were well and will us this truth. Peace and salutations be unto you, full of brothers, you Akim, that are also pushing out this word in truth, faith, and in sincerity. And with that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.